You're listening to KEXP. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle. We're streaming around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and it's a very exciting day in the KEXP studios today. I'm here to welcome the Blind Boys of Alabama. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having us. We're longtime fans, and I know we're not alone in that, and we are so excited to hear some live music from you today. Take it away.
Blind Boys of Alabama live on KEXP. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. What a treat. You had me nearly in tears and then dancing in the span of five minutes. I well, think that we, is some... We, 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 we're, we're trying to convert you. <laughs> that is some mighty high-quality entertainment right there. <laughs> We are so delighted to have you here. We're such longtime fans. You have so many records out. I'm not sure I can even count that high. <laughs> they say 70, but I don't know. I can certainly count your number of Grammys, which is also a high number as well. So many accolades coming to this band. So well deserved. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, the band, as you well know, has been around uh, going on 70 years, over 70 years. And yeah, it was since 1944, to be exact. The longevity of the band is a testament to the power of gospel music. And I know that music has gone in and out of fashion over the many decades you've been making music, but the music of the Blind Boys of Alabama has stood the test of time. And you've m remained steadfast in your mission for the band. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, when, when the blind boys started out, we, we made God a promise that we would never turn back, no matter what. Uh, we had setbacks in our career. We, 
when we started out. We started out in a segregated South, uh, but uh, you know, we were determined, you know, we, we, we would sing at night, and we were hungry, but we couldn't eat anything because we couldn't go, in, we couldn't go into that place. But we were, we were determined to go on, and so we're still here, we're still doing it, and we're going to do it until God says that's enough. Most, if not all of you, have been singing since you were children. Is that right? It's sort of like this is the only thing you've ever done. That's the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> I want to think that the longevity of the band is also due a lot in part to just feeling like a family. Well, it is. And then another thing, you know, <clears throat> when people ask me that question, what, what, what's, what's the secret of your longevity, I tell them, when you love what you do, you know, it keeps you motivated. And these young men that I have with, with me, they seem to be dedicated and they, you know, I, we fall out, but we make back up. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it is a family. We have, we've been together a long time. And you're not short on talent in this group. Not short on <laughs> talent, no. Nope. Speaking of talent, you've had um, the pleasure of working with a number of artists, and it's been their great privilege to work with you. Uh, coming into this session, I played some Ben Harper. I know you did an album with him, There Will Be Light, back in 2004. And you just played two songs uh, from an album that you did with Justin Vernon of Bon Iver. And I wouldn't have guessed, uh, of all the people that you have collaborated with, and there have been many, that's an interesting pairing. I'm curious how that came to light and what that was like. I heard you went to Wisconsin in the dead of winter to record that record. In, in, in November. <laughs> that's about as cold as it gets. Bitter cold, bitter cold. Uh, our our, 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 our uh, manager came to us one day and said, how would you all like to make a record with... Justin Vernon. Von, uh, I had to. I have to be honest. I said, "Who is he?" <laughs> so after you know, after we got together, after he told us who he was, and after we were, after we met, we went to his house, and he had a warm house and a warm heart. So the, the session went extremely well. And you've worked with so many musicians over the variety of albums, and it seems like you do draw people with warm hearts to you. Um, I mentioned Ben Harper, Michael Franti, who's coming on the air this afternoon today. Really? You, okay. Yes, he's following the Blind Boys of Alabama today. Oh. <clears throat> We've got a great lineup here. And you're playing tonight at Bumbershoot. At Bumbershoot. At 8.30. 8.30, yeah. Folk, folks won't want to miss that one tonight. Well, I hope they miss, uh, we, 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 want, we, want, we want to invite all our friends. We've been to Seattle many times, and uh, I think we've made some friends here, so. And Jimmy, you surprised me by letting me know that you lived uh, in, in the Seattle area. Lived in Kent, and I, I said the 80s, but I was wrong, it was in the 90s. <laughs> you can lose <laughs> I track lived, of time. I lived about five minutes from the airport. You've, you've been all over the world, I imagine. <laughs> it's hard to remember where you are in yeah, any one yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, um, Do you all live in the same place now? Nope. Everybody lives in different places. We live all over. Florida How, for me. Where's that? Florida. Florida. I spent some time in Florida in my youth as well. Is it a treat when you come together as a band? How much of the year do you spend together? Well, it varies, but... Uh, I don't, on an average, usually from 150 to 200 days out of the year. Well, we're so excited to have the Blind Boys of Alabama live in the studios here on KEXP. And I want to say you've got some wonderful musicians with you here today. Well, don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> they got big smiles on their faces. Um, you sang in so many variations. I mean, you can sing a cappella so easily. And I imagine over the course of your career that uh, the lineup and the instrumentation has changed. Has that evolution and trying new things been an important part of what you're doing, an exciting part? Yeah, well, you, yeah, you know, you know, well, you know, the original, some of the original people passed on, so we had to, we had to replace them, and, and uh, we have one requirement, or two. The first requirement, you have to be able to sing. The second requirement is you have to go that extra mile to look to to help see after the the, the the ones that the ones that are blind, you know. 
but uh, everything has been going on good. We 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 have we have a good family. We have a good relationship, and so far everything's been okay. <laughs> Well, I'm always excited to see what you're up to next. You constantly surprise me as a group, and we're so thankful to have you here today. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you. We're live in the KEXP studios with the Blind Boys of Alabama. They're playing tonight at Bumbershoot on the Starbucks stage at the Mural Amphitheater at 8.30. If you're coming to Bumbershoot, you do not want to miss that show. And they're going to delight us with a couple more songs today here live on KEXP. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found was blind. It was
Magnificent. The Blind Boys of Alabama live on KEXP. You did once again have me in tears for Amazing Grace and uh, dancing and jumping uh, by the right. hammer. I think I've figured out your strategy. You move people's hearts and then you lift them. <laughs> There's a lot of joy in this band. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having us. We're so glad to be here. It's such a treat and a real honor to have the Blind Boys of Alabama live on KEXP. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. You can see them at Bumbershoot tonight at 8.30, and you've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.